But uh, Wiz Kids album came out. Okay, Joe. We've never talked about it, and it's amazing. And I don't think that's really fair that all you niggas could steal Wiz Kids Caribbean fucking style no, and flow African. and songwriting and then not the buy the fuck fucking album. The, you know what? Uh, it, we're both from the Caribbean. Anytime we mention something from? about the Caribbean, I'm from oh. Jamaica, born and raised. So it's your number one journalist, Mr. Montgomery, and check it out because I told you, you know what, I actually sound like DJ Academics. I need to cut out, but anyway, um, in the topic of DJ Academics, if you guys saw the first video that was put on this video, of course, um, The Breakfast Club, Joe Budden, DJ Academics, and the Deska, of course, Joe Budden saying that Wizkid. Um, everybody's just copying his style Everybody's copying his music Obviously I don't know who he's speaking about Specifically In America but I can pretty sure Agree with him because I told you A lot of people are using the Afrobeats Vibe some people would say It's Caribbean and dancehall But you need to remember this <laughs> Dancehall originates from Africa The percussion drums that are used in dancehall Are from Africa They're African drums, originally African drums So Really and truly, basically, it all comes from Africa. Dance all comes from Africa. Dance all comes from Africa. Everybody's African. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, everybody's African. But we're not going to get into that. We're going to stick with the music. So Wizkid, of course, being mentioned about on um, The Breakfast Club. And they did actually say something. They said he is not really established in America yet, but he will be. And it's very good because it's like people are taking sound. People are listening to us. People know what we're speaking about now. That's what I'm trying to talk about. So when I'm making videos like Rihanna, Beyonce, all these people are listening. Um, Nicki Minaj, he made a song with Future. He even said that his album is dope. Um, Sounds from the other side. I said it. Sounds from the other side is not for me. It's not for people in Nigeria. It's for people that don't know who Wizkid is. And they live in America. They live in a place where Afrobeats is not popular. That's what Sounds from the other side is for. But shout out to Wizkid. And um, hopefully that... Many other people can be mentioned and be spoken about. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There's more that's going to come. But Wizkid right now is the face of Africa. He's the face of African music, the face of African entertainment. And realistically, it's very good. Realistically, is it going to get better? Probably. Hopefully. And um, right now, Wizkid at the top of his game. Make sure you go and check um, sounds from the other side. But yeah, Joe Budden, uh, Nadesco and DJ Academics talking about Wizkid sounds from the other side. What do you guys think? Because over the past three months it's just he's been just been getting commercial shout outs all over the place but let me know what you guys think leave a comment like and subscribe peace